Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys. We're gonna do an update on Titan Finance, pretty successful launch from that yesterday. Stay tuned also for an update on Lucky Sevens, another successful launch. We are making gains in the bear market. Okay guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, okay guys, because we're bringing these opportunities and um, you know, we're winning in the bear market, making profit, that's what it's all about. All right guys, so, uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave all the links in the description for these, but let's just start with Titan Finance. Okay, so Titan Finance came out of the gate with a bang yesterday. Okay, pure pumpage. Okay, and since then, a little bit of a sell off, but the price is stabilized, it's holding up pretty well at about nine cents. Okay, guys, so profit is profit, and um, still holding a bag. Okay, guys, I'm believing that this is going to go up. We're going to get some upside out of this token. Uh, one thing that many people didn't realize at the time is that you could only buy this on their own exchange, which is the Orbital Swap. This is the launch pad where we had the the pre-sale for uh, for Titan, right? Um, so this is where we did the pre-sale. Obviously, you, if you saw my previous video, you knew how that was all going on. This was a public sale. Everyone had the same opportunity. Um, I went in with about 8.4 BNB, which is what I had in my wallet at the time. I wanted to max out, but, you know, um, I just didn't. Okay, guys, I just put in what I had, 8.4 BNB, still a pretty good investment. And, um, you know, since then, uh, we're in a profit. Okay, sitting at about 14 uh, just over 14 BNB. I think at the peak, it was about 18 BNB. So more than a 2x on this particular project. Okay, guys. So um, I could have taken profit, but I didn't. At the end of the day, I'm holding this and I'm getting rebases, right? We're getting rebases. It's 125% APY, fixed staking. Of course, auto compounded is an auto staking protocol. If you don't know what that is, I don't know where you've been because these things are popping up all over the place. But Titan... Seems pretty decent, especially, you know, with some of the ambitious uh, goals that they have with their launch pad, their orbital swap and things like that. Uh, me personally, I would have preferred if they allowed some liquidity on pancake swap, you know, because, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people probably didn't buy just for the simple fact they were confused about how to get in. So potentially losing buyers there by not doing that. However, um, they have their own vision and their own goal. They want orbital swap to be a thing. So it does make sense for them to kind of only, you know, put the main liquidity on orbital swap. And um, it's a BNB pair only. So if you try to do it with uh, with BUSD, for example, you know, it's not going to it's not going to look right, okay, so BNB pair only if you are buying it on here, okay, so I will leave a link in the description for you, uh, for Orbital Swap, so you can come and take advantage of that, they're going to be launching uh, more tokens on this launch pad as well, so um, I reckon you should keep an eye on that, okay, it could be a good thing, all right, guys, but pretty successful launch out of Titan, less than 24 hours old at the time of recording this video, so let's see where this thing goes, guys, it's sitting at about... 3.7 million in market cap. I'm not sure if that's fully diluted or not, but 1.4 million in liquidity. You know, they're not messing about. This is a decent project for you to, uh, you know, uh, you know, feast your eyes upon and uh, potentially take a punt on. Okay, guys. So pretty happy with this one so far and um, can't complain. Um, so, yeah, obviously, if you guys want to know more, you can go and check out the website, do your own research, read the white paper and so on. It explains everything that they're trying to do. I believe they're going to be having um, share, tie shares. It's called tie shares. Um, all of, you know, there's certain things that I didn't cover in the initial video. Um, this is not a full overview. Um, but, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have talked about it in their, in their own videos as well. But I do recommend you delve into the white paper. Um, see exactly everything that's going on with this because it's not just your standard auto rebasing protocol okay guys but that being said we're going to move on to lucky sevens finance okay lucky sevens pretty successful launch out of this as well if you look at the chart um yeah we've got a pretty bullish chart at the moment if you take if you if you you know forget about these little glitches these little bugs these wicks okay um, those do not affect the price action. Uh, but yesterday, there was a little bit of a hiccup with the developer where he uh, made a mistake down here. But they did the buyback and they bought it back up. People were thinking it was a rug, but it's not a rug. Okay, guys. And, um, you know, we're moving up. This is what we expected this thing to do, right? Lucky Sevens. And uh, we've seen it with LockPay. 
and this thing is moving no different it's moving bullish it just keeps going up right um if you look at my dashboard i went in with about 1500 dollars on the private sale okay some people are saying you know this is probably gonna, gonna dump because you know private sale investors got in and things like that but at the end of the day there's nothing new about a private sale right i mean private sales have been happening since the beginning of crypto i will not invest in a project just because it had a private sale that just doesn't make any sense at all okay and private sale investors like myself you know if they're smart they're not just going to dump as soon as the thing launches right you invest in a private sale because you believe in the project it's different to a pre-sale right you invest in a private sale uh, because you know when you invest in a private sale there's a high probability that you can lose all your money because if they don't reach their soft caps and their and their, and, their, and you know they don't reach their goals before launch there's a high chance that they may not even launch uh, and you could just lose your money altogether okay so uh yeah, I mean, I invested in the price, private sale, sorry. Uh, they did a public sale as well, which sold out. So uh, that's always bullish, you know. And it, when you see a public sale sell out, you don't just dump your private sale token straight away, right? When <laughs> you hold it, because things probably going to pump. Not only that, you can only sell between 1% and 5% a day of this actual token. Okay, guys, so how it's supposed to dump when it comes out of the gate, it baffles me, like... The way people talk sometimes is it's, it's borderline annoying to be honest but fifteen hundred dollars in the private sale so i'm sitting in a profit okay can't complain five thousand five hundred twenty eight dollars and um, does it make sense for me to start pulling out one percent a day five percent a day right now i personally don't think that that's a good idea okay I'm getting the rebases every 30 minutes as well so the balance is going up i think it started at around two million tokens and now I'm up to 2,023,691 tokens. So, yeah, it's always good to have uh, more tokens. My next reward amount is $2.82. And that will be every 30 minutes. That should go up slightly. Max sale rate at the moment is 1%. Five day rate, $721.92 per uh, every five days. Uh, that's $137 a day. So that is a pretty decent return on your investment. Of course, you can only sell 1% a day. So as long as this thing is alive and it's going up and to the right and it's a healthy chart, then we're bullish, right? And, um, you know, once this thing gets to a decent, you know, once I get to a decent amount here, maybe I can start pulling out 1% a day. Um, you know, let's say this 10x is from here, we're up to $50,000. 1% a day will be $500. Within three days, I've got a full return on my investment if I was to begin to withdraw. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, pretty successful launch with Lucky Sevens. Very happy with the both of these projects. So I just wanted to do an update, let you guys know what's going on. Uh, Lucky Sevens, um, you know, if you didn't know already, if it wasn't obvious from what I was saying, this is a lot to earn project okay guys similar to lock pay um so yeah if you don't know how those things work go and do your research before you buy into this token okay because uh, you have to be comfortable with not being able to just sell your whole bag all right guys it's about delayed gratification that's how you get paid on these protocols with your auto rebases titan finance you can sell your whole bag if you want this is different to lucky sevens They're two completely different types of projects okay but they both give you the auto rebases okay guys so very quick update um do me a favor and subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications i will see you guys in the next video